When do we want it? Now! Okay, yes. All right. <laughs> Enough is enough. enough. We have enough. enough. So I'm, I'm just going to quickly just talk about the backdrop here behind me. Um, we have Mayor Headland, Mayor Sullivan, Mayor Headland from Weymouth. For those of you who don't know, we, we thank the town of Weymouth because they really have put their heart and soul into this. They're into it for a lot of bucks, folks. So we really have to try to end it this year. Um, Mayor Koch from the city of Quincy. And the city of Quincy has been our partner on the federal lawsuit. They have paid our bills on the federal lawsuit. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you to the city of Quincy. Thank you to Mayor Koch. We have Mayor Sullivan from the town of Braintree. Braintree has been with us all along um, in opposing this situation. We have Senator O'Connor. And Senator O'Connor is from way now. Our district. Senator Timothy from yeah. Braintree, and a little bit more. Yeah. Representative Murphy, and this is his area. This is Murphy's area. Representative Ayers from the city of Quincy. Thank you. And, and Representative Ayers has been with us all along. We also have city councilors um, Brad Kroll from Quincy Point, who has Woo! been an amazing, amazing partner in this. City Councilor David McCarthy from Quincy as well, Germantown, that area, and David has been with us. We have Representative Jim Hawkins from Bristol. So they're coming in from far and wide. Um, and we want to make sure, I'm trying to make sure that we have everybody, so I want to make sure in case I missed anyone. We also have um, Councilors Heffernan from uh, Councilor at Large, Town of Weymouth. Councilor Happel, Town of Weymouth, and of course our own District 1 Councilor, Becky Hall. <laughs> and did I miss anybody? If I did, please pick up. <laughs> we, uh, we have a school committee member. Anthony Andronico, school committee member from Quincy. Oh. So, and, and the school. Committees are very, very important. It sounds a little, you're saying, well, why would that be important? Because the school committees care about the health of our children. And we know that this is going to be a problem. It's a problem already. We know we have problems here with benzene and formaldehyde, and it's just going to get worse. So I'm going to try to make this not too long um, for myself, and then I'd like to, to introduce um, our different elected officials who would like to speak. But I want to start really quickly with something that Reverend Betsy Sowers wrote for us. She is a member of the FRAC's board and could not be here today. But this is what the Reverend Sowers has to say to us. We're here today because we are furious at being betrayed yet again mm. by the Mass Department of Enabling Polluters, which seems to have forgotten its own regulations and its mandate to protect us and our environment. We're here to tell them and any elected leaders who support their approval of Enbridge's air quality permit that we will not be their sacrifice zone. Mm -hmm. There will be no Atlantic Bridge and no access Northeast compressor stations in the Four River Basin while we are here to stop them. But we aren't here only out of anger and opposition. We are here because of our shared values, a love for our neighbors and a vision for a future where people not only survive, but flourish in Massachusetts and around the world. We imagine a future where economic interests are made compatible with human and environmental well-being, where people can live in health and safety in a restored natural world. We share a commitment to making our government work as it was intended by being informed citizens who participate in our democracy and hold our leaders accountable. Friends, it's appropriate to burn with righteous anger at times like this, but it's also critical that our actions be driven by our values and our visions. Hmm. If we run only on burning anger, we will burn out and we will lose. In the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whose birthday we we're about to celebrate, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Hold on to your vision for what is possible and to your love for your neighbors and for the great diversity of life on earth that depends on our actions. Then get back to work. 
grounded in a love that will sustain our movement through all of the challenges to come. And that, folks, it's all about community. And this community has been amazing in this fight. But we have to sustain, we have to just sustain one another. The air, qu air quality approval plan was just a, another hit. We've taken a few hits over the past few weeks, but this one was one that was entirely preventable. Mm -hmm. Our elected officials, 14 legislators from this area, the mayors of Quincy and Weymouth and Braintree all pleaded with Governor Baker to allow his Department of Environmental Protection to use their own regulations to not approve this plan. What would that have meant? It would have meant Enbridge would have hauled the state into court. Big deal. We've been fighting them in court for four years. And the state has Maura Healy to defend them. We don't have Maura Healy. So it was something that could have been done. Oh. Oh. We lost power. <laughs>